Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. It's your boy, Daily Dustalos. Hope y'all are having a great day. As y'all can see, we got the hood open. We are back over at JJ's garage. Probably asking yourselves, Daniel Lowe's, weren't you just there earlier doing another install? We are. We absolutely are. So, have you guys ever got yourselves on a trail and you guys wondered what's going to happen if I have to air down and I can't air myself back up, right? So, we ask that ourselves all the time, right? And so we've got ourselves into a situation where we didn't have air and to get to the nearest uh, gas station was about a good like 10 miles out, which wasn't too bad, but you know, we had to find a way to get air. So what we've decided to do is on JJ's truck today, we are installing the ARB compressor, uh, the twin compressor, I should say, um, underneath the hood with the uh, Regu Fabrications uh, mount and gonna go ahead and throw that in there today and uh, kind of see what it looks like and uh, see if we can uh, save ourselves the effort and the headache of needing to need air on the trail when we can have it right away versus having to go to a gas station or anything like that right so let's go ahead and get today's episode started let's go and throw this install together and uh, let's uh, air up is that, how you, is that how we would say it or air down so we can air back up so on three two one let's go ahead and get today's episode started gotta get this uh, engine bay clean man look at this TRD Pro looking a little dirty dirty but nonetheless here's the plan is over here we are going to be mounting the mount with the compressor um, and so that's gonna be going here and whatnot so let's go ahead and see what we got going on boom as you can see here's the air compressor got the ARB twin compressor so super excited about that and got the Regu like I said fabrication third gen uh, mount so we're gonna go ahead and just throw this on there for us today and of course gotta get the pump up kit gotta stay pumped up you know boom we're gonna say this for another day but let me show y'all a little preview of what we're gonna be doing um, down the road is we got the wifey or air by wifey system is that right JJ yep. so gonna go ahead and hold it off on this today but what we are gonna have to do to make this as easy as possible we are gonna be mounting the uh, wifey system block on the bracket so that we can reduce our effort next time when we do have to bolt this in so pretty excited about that guys check it out full kit already so that will allow us to air up from every tire every wheel wheel for sound to carry a hose all the way around the corner so of the car but super super stoked about that oh quick little uh update it's a uh, sponsored by wife i think i said something different in the clip before but it's sponsored by wifey is the actual air system so again super excited to use it man make our time on the trail a lot uh, a lot faster man have not having to always be airing up man i don't know about you guys but if you've ever had to air up with one of those little carry-on compressors or having to go to a gas station super super annoying man a lot of time that's wasted so that's why we kind of decided to jump on the arb um on board air so let's go ahead and knock this out real quick kind of a update as we're kind of getting everything prepped we noticed that the the Tacoma, the third gen does have what is this uh, relay box and it holds a fan relay in uh, what is fused, but it does mount to this bracket, which we will have to use this bolt. Oh, let me see. Have to use this bolt. We'll have to use that bolt and then the other bolt to mount the bracket. So we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with this. Um, I think we might just find a way to zip tie it somewhere. Uh, because essentially the bracket will sit here, the air compressor will sit on top of that. But kind of a quick little call out, man. We'll let you guys know what we decided to do with it or how we decided to install this. Uh, but, you know, if you watch some of the videos that we did see online, some of them didn't have this bracket here. Um, so, or that, or they already had changed this and they didn't uh, put anything on there. But this is a quick little call out that we just had. So here's a rough draft of what the install should look like. So essentially, this should kind of mount here, right? So, boom, boom. Like I said, pretty simple install, but just kind of going on ahead and uh, give you guys an update on that. Boom, so, quick little update, guys. So this piece here is what's gonna hold the manifold to the Wi-Fi mount. So this is gonna kind of just bolt up here, you know? So what we're doing right now, we're not installing the Wi-Fi system in full yet, but to make it as easy as possible for when we do install, we're gonna throw this on there 
and then the air compressor will sit on top of here. But just kind of an update, you know, in case you do decide to do it, definitely would recommend to buy the block mount or the manifold mount for the Wi-Fi air system before you buy, before you install the air compressor so you don't have to take things in and out. So, so as you guys can see, this is kind of so far where we're at. Got the mount put together, got the sponsored by Wi-Fi manifold, uh, what do we call it, plate on here. Let me get to focus, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and mount the uh, compressor. So neat little thing about this is that the compressor does have what is, let me see if we can get these to focus, but these rib nuts already bolted into the bracket, which that will line up with these holes here. And so that'll make it real, real simple, man, to bolt on there. But kind of give you guys an update on where we're at on that. All right, so here's where the ARB um, button is going to go to power the compressor on right here. So that's kind of an update to let you guys know where we're, how we're working on that. But just kind of giving you guys updates on this. Boom. So here's what we were talking about, guys. As you guys can see, you got the air compressor upside down. Got the four little holes with the rib nuts already installed into the brace or the frame of the air compressor. The mount to make it as easy as possible and just throw this upside down here and just bolt this in and that should allow us to knock the bracket inside the car or so or inside the hood or underneath the hood whatever you want to call it y'all correct me in the comments boom so what we're doing right now guys is we're trying to figure out the wiring situation um and it's pretty easy it's pretty simple plug and play right we just got to get battery from the harness of the air compressor to the battery uh, oh excuse me and then we got to get the ignition underneath the dash to the button to power the button and uh, backlight the button but nonetheless very very simple process the great thing about arb honestly is that inside the box the wiring is pretty simple it's it's well written out um, as far as what goes where and what what is what right um, and it's, it's very well put together kit man so i definitely would recommend it for onboard air i don't know if there is other companies that do onboard air um to this extent but again very simple process but now that's what we're kind of trying to figure out is where, how we're going to do that luckily jj's already done the work for us so he's got the uh, light bar up top he's got a couple lights on here so i already know where to run it through the firewall and i'll kind of show you guys that here and how we're going to fish that um, but as you guys can see the air compressor is officially mounted to the to the bracket got to mount that to the underneath the hood here and then uh, get the wiring set up and it should be pretty simple it looks like that might just be the hardest part honestly it's just going to be the wiring of all this um so just kind of uh follow along man i appreciate y'all sticking around and uh, let's go ahead and uh mount this bad boy and let's see if we get some air so kind of what we talked about earlier guys so here's and i got these two 12 millimeter bolts here to this bracket to the relay fuse holder thing whatever it was i wonder if we can reuse that i don't know probably not but uh, kind of give you guys an update. That's where that's at. So, as y'all can see, JJ's got to get down in there, man. The bolts pretty, pretty deep down there, man. So, a little bit of work, but nothing that can't be done. Like I said, very, very simple install, man. I think the, the hardest part is probably this bolt. I want to say, uh, outside of the wiring, the wiring is pretty simple. So here's what we use, guys, to run it through the firewall. JJ, like I said, he already has some lights and stuff, so we just use the same uh, entrance. Entrance, is that what we'd call it? Let me know in the comments if you think it's different. But as you can see here, now we got it mounted, so running the wires. Like I said, probably the, it's probably gonna be the one of the second hardest things was this. So as you guys can see, JJ got the wiring, so now we're just mounting it up, hooking it up to the uh, harness. Great thing about the ARB kit, man, it's, it's real simple, man. The, it's very straightforward, there's really no much just matching colors and uh, putting it through. So now I just gotta get the button hooked up into the dash and then just gotta find ignition and power for it. And uh, the wiring itself will be pretty much done outside of hooking it up to the battery. So as y'all can see, pretty much got this almost ready to go and mount it. One thing we kind of did do, cause we, you know, in the future JJ might end up running what is lockers. So it does have the switches for the solenoids. Well, let's see if we get it to focus real quick. There we go. So we ended up just taping these bad boys off. So here's where we're at. So we got the remote switch wired up. You can see there, and there's, we did put the extra harness here because I think we might do switch pros in here later down the road. Down the road. So got that wired up in there. Like I said, here's the connectors for the solenoids for the lockers if we decide to do that in the future. So we left those into the harness. I know some people take those out if they're not gonna do um, 
what is lockered, but we might do a front locker or maybe a rear locker in the future, so we did want to just leave that in there and not mess with it. And what we did also do, man, is we ran the wire underneath the harness, and that's just more so because of the fact that we just don't want it to be next to the compressor to get hot and burn or anything, but that's kind of where we're at. Now we're just wiring up what is the power source to the air compressor, to the battery, so that's last final touch-ups and just button it up and as you can see here's where the manifold for the sponsored by wifey system will go like I said this is exactly why we bolted it up here today because then we got to remove this remove the bracket this here just kind of leaves it good to go when uh, we are ready to mount that together boom got the power wire set up good to go got it the harness ran now I really just getting the button fit in the what is dash mount and then just hook up the filters and hook up the air chuck and we should be up and rolling, ready to air up. guys as you guys can see we got it hooked up it's up and running so what we're gonna go ahead and do real quick show you guys we're gonna deflate the tire uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and air back up and see how it works so let's go ahead and uh, run it through its pace real quick and uh, let's see what it looks like man super excited I know JJ's super stoked about it so let's go and uh, let some air, uh, the air out of the tires and then uh, let's go ahead and get to it Boom, I don't know if you guys can see that. A minute and 44 seconds, man. So we got the tire aired it down to about 12 pounds all the way up to 40 pounds. So it is a KM3 uh, 295, uh, 7017, I think is what it is. So super impressive, man. Again, you can't get that at a gas station. You can't get that from a portable uh, air compressor. So super, super stoked about that. A minute and 40, so what, about five minutes and some change to probably get all four tires done is a freaking lifesaver, dude, compared to what you're on the trail with a little handheld or a gas station pump. Dude, lifesaver for real. So super stoked, man. I said, super, super stoked. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments, man, about the compressor. Like I said, we got the uh, uh, the uh, sponsored by Wifey Air System coming up next for that. So that's gonna be super, super exciting. Imagine how fast that'll work, or if not how fast, just how less time consuming it'll be to have to run the air check to all four tires. But let's go ahead and button up the last final things and then uh, let's call it a day, guys. Boom, there you guys have it. We're officially done with today's video. As you guys can see, it didn't take very much, man. Got, got it hooked up, got it installed, got the bracket, got it all mounted up. Now what's left is uh, stay tuned for next video. We're gonna go ahead and do the sponsored by Wifey setup. Super stoked about that. But uh, nonetheless, man, I am super excited about it. Like you said, you all seen it. It was, we aired it down at 12 PSI um, on the tire, and then we aired it back up to 40. And it was within, what, a minute and 45 seconds. It wasn't too bad. Honestly, compared to what it has been in the past with going out to the gas stations, using the handheld air compressors, that's just a pain, honestly. Um, so now this onboard air is definitely gonna make life that much easier. Is it necessary? No. Is it great to have? Absolutely. In our book, we definitely would agree. Um, but nonetheless, I hope y'all liked today's install. A little simple video. If y'all did, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button for us. And if uh, you are interested in it, you know, sign up to the channel and keep following along, man. I'm gonna do what we can to keep bring you guys content. Um, with that being said, I'm out of here. So I hope y'all enjoyed the, today's clip. With that being said, on three, two, one, follow your path. Peace.